Stand by. Kids and guns, two words that are usually connected with tragedy. Beautiful shot. For Derek LeBanc, the two go hand in hand. And it is all in the name of safety. LeBlanc runs the Kids Safe Foundation, a nonprofit aimed at helping protect families and children through firearm safety, with hands on experience developing safe practices on and off the range. We teach our kids how to swim, right? Because we don't want them to drown. And so that's the same concept. According to the Children's Firearm Safety Alliance, a coalition of physicians, law enforcement, and others, there are 67 reported cases in the U.S. involving children who accidentally have shot themselves or another child. Back in April in California, two cousins were playing in a vehicle when they found a gun. One shot the other, thinking it was unloaded. Another case back in March when a three-year-old picked up a gun in his home when it fired, shooting himself. Our area has experienced heartbreak, too. Back in November of 2018, a juvenile accidentally died in a gun incident near Harrisburg. We lose eight to nine kids per a day across the country. The first lesson in LeBlanc's class is what to do if you see a firearm. You stop, don't touch, run away, tell a grown up, okay? So we're not advocating kids pick those guns up, we're advocating those kids get out of the situation. The National Crime Prevention Council says 1.4 million homes have firearms stored in a way that makes them accessible to 2.6 million children. But even if you don't have a firearm in your home... They could be at a friend's house or they could be somewhere else where there, there is a gun and they may be unfamiliar. Police say keeping firearms out of reach of children is... Responsible ownership and making sure that it's never left accessible for the kids to interact with talking about using a safe or a, a gun lock. And education is crucial. Treating it the same way that as though it's always loaded, you should always assume that it is, never pointing it at anyone. You know. Most of the cases seen on the Children's Firearm Safety Alliance page involve the child being at home, but that isn't always the case. Because in this climate, I think the opportunity for him to run into one has probably increased. The statistics were troubling enough to get the attention of Oregon lawmakers. LeBlanc helped introduce Senate Bill 801, which would have authorized school districts and public charter schools to offer an annual 30-minute firearm safety and accident prevention class to first graders. Although it wouldn't involve any real guns, it would teach them what to do if they encountered one and, of course, basic firearm safety. It was all about education. It wasn't in safety. It wasn't about, you know, pushing guns on kids. It was about giving them the tools that they need to be successful if they were put in that dangerous position. The bill did not make it far, but LeBlanc says he is gearing up for next session. Basically, we're going to come back next year. Uh, we learned a lot from this process. At the high school level, I, we, you can talk about guns, but uh, even when we do that, we uh, counselors usually, usually set up trauma type situations because a lot of students, uh, they're still young and understand life and death. Kurt Goldstein, a high school teacher of over 30 years, says he wouldn't mind teaching his high school students about gun safety, but was uncertain when it came to younger children. I don't think people in society understand how much time and effort schools go through to just to prepare for shooters. So students can be aware of them, but to actually teach children how to use a gun would be something I think should fall back with parents, family, Another man I spoke to said first grade might be too early, but that it was also crucial for gun owners to be responsible. I would say start in middle school, yes. And uh, But if they're being trained by a father or uncle or whatever about hunting, whatever they, th they will decide whether the kid should have a gunner. Through Kids Safe Foundation, thousands of kids have now learned basic safety rules and gun safety, helping lower accidental deaths right. with firearms involving children. Stop. Don't touch. And don't touch it. And then run away and get an adult. Whether you agree or not with the training probably depends on where you stand about guns. But for LeBlanc, it's all about changing the narrative. Through proper education, that's how we're going to make a difference and save lives. And he hopes to do that, one kid at a time. And Eugene, Jamie Hayes, KEZI, 9 News.